Hi everyone, this is Norman. I want to show you today my new plugin is called Nitro Snapwrap. With this plugin, you can make easy snap object in the XYZ plane. You can also use like a snap wrap to make very easy complex object. You only need to put object inside the plugin, and after that, you put the spline, and you have ready to go a mesh. And the last thing, you can make also thickness and bevel. So let's begin and show you how it's working this great plugin. So let's click the icon here and you can see it's generate the object and here to work we need to put some object let's try a cube okay you can put any object you like now I use a cube just copy and paste another cube and uh, maybe another cube you can go here also and make a change and the great thing is when you make a change it's also automatically is updating you can see and automatically is put in the correct place so if I put another one here you can see also you have here, you can go here and change you would like also and you can make some cool uh, exam here like this let's put also in here in the end and here my mess and you can see how cool and for example you can use also null if you want so let's put a null here and here you can put object for example let's put a cube but this time is take uh, the null of the, f the full null for example if I remove this Okay, and we have a cube and let's make a sphere inside the null, for example. Let's put about here. Let's take this null here and he's put up. You can see now it's up here. And I can make another copy. And also if I, I can do also a copy the self plugin here also. You can see. And you, you can do you can put here anything you like. You can see very simple. You copy and paste. You can also use if you want a clone here for example and let's try like this you can see and uh, maybe let's go to the clone and change to the radius maybe make this bigger let's change the radius something more interesting and you can see it's automatic snapping you can see how cool okay and uh, this is how it's working and the last thing you can do is let's remove this because I want to show you let's put a null here and let's put here a spline. Let's use an spline inside, for example. Let's change the axis. Now, if you put a null and you use the spline, it's automatic generated object. You can see how cool. Here, and you can make a here the object like you want. Okay, and just drag the spline and do your mess just like this. And here you can see how it looks like. And now let's show you the options. There is the repeat option. This is me, it's repeat the mesh you put here. So if I make here the P, you can see now it's repeat the mesh. You can see how cool. And let's remove this spline now because I want to show you how it's working the repeat. Let's put a cube, for example, and let's put a sphere, and let's put a torus. Okay, so I use this object because I want to show you the next is generator. As soon as the repeat, it's just repeat of the mesh you put here. Okay, and the generator is a little different. The generator is actually is find the plug is find the object here. For example, the, is for the mod here. Now I have index. So this is me. The index one is on display. You can make it the two, the three, uh, go like this. Zero, one, two. For example cube is the zero, two is the sphere, and the and one is the sphere, excuse me, and two is the torus. And this is how it's working. There is also other more like loop, and this is does is loop the object. For example, cube sphere torus, and again cube sphere torus. And here uh, you can choose how many you want times, for example. Okay, you can see here how many times you want the count here. And the other is the random so the random is make randomize all the object and his make uh, for this count and here you can make a seed to change this and this is how it's working this option here and let's go uh, so it's little the connect how it's working also uh, also there is also actually the offset is make the offset the object here you can see that's very simple here okay and let's show now the connect to show you the connect let's remove everything and uh, let's use it as a chamber here and uh, in the chamber let's remove the caps so that this not have any caps and uh, let's make this as smaller okay let's put actually we don't generate let's put repeat 
Uh, let's make a uh, uh, happener and put here. So actually, the connect is make the connect of the object together. So if you don't have the connect, uh, actually now we don't see. But actually, this mess is not a connect. Uh, I want to show you this letter how it's working. And here's the word you chose how much word you want for the connect. So this is me when you make a DW, this object, uh, the mess is big, everything uh, connect. Okay. Uh, if I make this uncheck and I make a DW, you can see now here the mess is not connect. You can see, you see one by one the object. Okay. Let's put this here. And uh, this is how it's working. Okay. And the word is actually you chose how many dollars you want. So here you can make how many you want. You can see how if I go further, you can see now the object, the tolerance, okay? And this is how it's working. Uh, let's actually remove, make a new one here. And let's use here a cube. Maybe make another one cube here. Maybe this one make it just a little smaller, just like this. Okay, and let's make a little bit of fillet maybe, just to give more interesting shape here. And maybe something like this. And let's go here and make a repeat, this one. Let's make something like this, okay. And now let's explain the spline warp. So the spline warp, you can make any spline you want. For example, an inside, let's try the inside now. And let's make this bigger. Just make it bigger, bigger, like this. Okay, something like this I think is good. And let's put this enable first, and let's put the inside here. You can see it's automatic. Uh, uh, put this mess uh, and he's make the spline. If I go to object now, there is a count. I can change the count. You can see now it looks much better. You can make less if you want. Okay. Now, if I go to the spline wrap, there is a lot of options here. There is the spline rain if you want. For example, if I make a copy here, the mess, uh, the spline, I mean. And I use the this spline like a rail. So let's put it here. Okay, you can see now here if I go to the spline, this spline here, and I go to the point mode here. And let's grab the spline. Actually, let's move a little bit. Okay, and now uh, let's go and put the point. Uh, when I move, you can see I can. So you can move the points and you can control, you can see here the house going the rail, the display, you can see how, okay. Let's show you now the axis, I'm going to make X, Y, and Z, okay. And when you link spline is removed here, you can also change the up vector, for example, here you can change the up vector you want, just to, like you want, and depend the spline you use. Okay, the next is the, let's make this zero, actually to make uh, original like before, okay, uh, let's remove the inside, we don't need anymore, uh, now the offset, actually make it the offset, you can see, you can make from if you want also, to if you want also, there is also the mood here, there is the keep lens, so this is the, is keep the length of the spline, you can make fit the spline, you can make also climb extend, this is uh, if you use uh, other spline to see better. Let's try helix. Uh, let's make this just bigger. Uh, let's put this here. Okay, and you can see how it looks like. And now in the here, let's change this for example clamp. And uh, let's go here and make it just more. And this is make a clamp. But if I go here and I change this to extend. Uh, without fit spline keep lens, you can see now it's make a stand, but if you make a clamp, it's a, it make a clamp this spline here, and you can see how it's working. Or you can change the baking, you can see now how you can rotate this like this you want, make effects. And there is more advanced options here to change the spline size you want, for example, for start to end. You can see how cool. Here you can control. Uh, like this if you want and also you can change the rotation if you want you can just change this stuff and you can make rotate you can see how cool okay and now the last thing i want to show you the thickness uh, so let's just remove everything here again as we are removed for the complete everything here and let's okay and just i put here now the plugin and let's click this here 
Uh, let's use just a simple thing here without caps and just put here. Okay, great. And now let's make a little model here. So let's make a DW. And now you can see the original model. You can make also off just to see how it looks like. And just here make some change. Uh, let's go here for example. Let's make extrude like this. Let's maybe make uh, something different. Let's make a loop here, for example, just like this. Uh, and let's make, for example, another loop here. Okay, let's make a loop here, for example. You can make anything you like, just make some uh, change here. And uh, now you can see, let's say we have this original mesh. You can also put material if you want. Uh, let's put the material here. Maybe this one, let's make this uh, red, just to see, okay. And let's copy another one here. Uh, and let's make some change. Uh, maybe, let's see. Uh, actually, let's take this here. Uh, use the um, normal move and put this time for this here. Just make a change and when enable it, you can see how it looks like. And here you can also repeat the mesh. Okay, great. And also you can make another material if you want. And like this, you can make the base shape. Uh, so the next I can do is uh, let's put now a text here. I know this one, uh, just a text. And uh, let's make just a bigger. Let's put this bigger. Okay, uh, I want to put this here. So let's use the spline wrap and I'll put this here and you can see now how it looks like. I can go here and change the count if I go on. You can see how cool. And also let's make this bigger. It's, it's a little small. Okay, maybe something like this. Okay, great. And you can see uh, how it looks like. Okay, great. And now this I want to show you is the thickness and I'm going to show you this let's change this spline and use again the helix here and put this here, here helix okay and let's make this just bigger it's very small again and you see the end uh, the, also you, the, you see this the funk you can go to the funk here and change you want and so here you can go here and enable the thickness and use the thickness how you want okay uh, to work the thickness and here to enable the thickness let's go here and enable the thickness now you can see there is a thickness and if i go here in ground you can see here there is a sub you can change the sub and also if you want the color for this here you can just make a new material let's make a black just see the difference i put the nitro spline wrap like this and now you can see the thing is make black here or if you want any color. And now there is another option here. You can enable the bevel also if you want. So let's change the bevel. Okay, and here you can change the angle. The red is very big, let's make 10. Okay, and here you can change the angle you want to bevel. And the sub of course here. And here you can select also solid if you want. So like this you can put a hopper now. And to have a nice here bevels. You can see how cool and this is also how it's working the bevel the thickness so this is about the plugin how it's working so now you learn all this stuff let's just make something just simple here so this i want to do i want to make just a simple here plane let's make this just a z and uh, let's go here and make it w Let's grab the this point go here and maybe this one. Maybe we grab this one, this one, and I think something like this. And uh, let's grab this again and remove. And now let's put this here. Uh, let's go here and maybe we clip it. Okay, it's no. Uh, I think something like this is good. And let's put uh, something like, let's see, maybe this one here, and maybe make a... Actually, this I want to do, I want to draw something, 
So let's go here in the in this plan here in this plan pane. Hey, let's go here and make a qubit and hey, let's make uh, something maybe like this. Okay, and hey, let's go here in iter wrap and just drag this here. Okay, and now you can see this I want to do. I want to make something like a film. Uh, let's make it uh, smaller. Okay, something like this. And now you, you can see how it looks like. And now let's copy this one and paste again. And put this like a link ray here. And now you can see how it looks like. Let's grab this plane with the points here. Just make extra a little bit. Uh, and then maybe drag in this here maybe you can see now uh, how it looks like and here you can control how you like to go this film okay for example let's say I want to do something like this maybe maybe this one a little bit like this and uh, you can control how it looks like okay nice and now let's go here uh, in thickness let's name the thickness I think this too much let's make something like 10 and let's go here and change the font and here you go and now also you can control this if you go to spline and you can make offset here and you can see now this is moving okay and let's make maybe make black this one and here you go okay let's change this uh, maybe I'm like, going like this maybe this one a little bit like this and uh, this is how working. So I show you everything, how it's working this plugin. You can see how easy uh, you can make uh, just some easy skins, very cool here. And you can see the only you need to do to put the object here, drag splines, and you can make your own stuff. And also something that forget in the baking here, I can change the baking to change how uh, the, this film is rotate. And also if you got more advanced options, you can go here and make a rotation for here. You need to play with the spline. Uh, you can see, or you can make a spline rotate if you want. Check this one to see if it's better. And find this is something you like, uh, you're ready to go. So yep, this is how it works in the plugin. So yep, this plugin how it's working. I hope you like and find it useful. This plugin is released. You can find it in my site nitro4d.com. Thank you for watching this video and more plugins coming soon.